trim details on a post frame uh, as far as soffit fascia in the corner goes. I'm gonna try and walk you through it real quick. We're gonna make up a piece on the brake, then we'll go up in the basket and install it. And then when we do our corner trim, you can see how the transition works and we'll see what it all looks like. Ready, set, go. All right, zoom her in this time. So we got our soffit coming down. Uh, we've got our midnight gray, I think was the color name, F and J, and then what to do here, which is always kind of a tricky transition. Uh, some people like to do the bird box. Uh, some people like to put a little steel there, uh, but we're gonna do it with some white trim coil. And then when the corner goes on, we'll have a really nice transition from the rake soffit to the flat soffit. So let's go make up that goofy looking triangle on the brake and then we'll go up in the air and install it. So we've got two foot overhangs on this building. So uh, I started with cutting some scrap trim coil that I had. Um, I can pull out a tape measure here uh, and get in a nice measurement. So the piece that I had laying around was 14 inches in width. Uh, then I cut it down to a couple pieces that were, I don't remember, 25 in the length. Um, and then we're going to use that. Uh, we'll fold the hem on it. We'll fold a 90 on it. We'll do some trimming. And then we'll cut the rake angle on it. And then we'll go up in the air and we'll install it. And life will be good. So ready, set, go. Zoom her out. All right, so on the brake. We have our piece 14 this way, 25 this way. Uh, we're gonna make our first mark at three quarter, our second one at two and a quarter. Same over here, three quarter, two and a quarter. What that will give us is a three quarter fold for our hem. So we'll fold this one all the way over. We'll fold this one to 90 degrees, uh, which will give us our L shape. And then we'll cut from the L, we'll cut an angle from 12 inches up here down to five inches over here and go from there. Oh man, it's hard to get in the frame. So basically just made a 12 inch piece of fascia. We did our three quarter hem and our inch and a half to match the fascia that is on the building. And then we've got this line here, which goes from five on the left side up to the corner, which is at 12. Uh, so I'm gonna put that in the break and we'll cut it. I find that the easiest way to cut this because the uh, cutoff tool has an inch and a half offset to it is to just put it in on the line, take a new razor blade and give it a score. And then you can just pretty much take that piece and I guess we can do it that way too. Makes it a little easier. Fold it back and forth a time or two. Come on, come on, there we go. So, now we have our piece. Let's take it up in the air, we'll do some modifications and get her installed. All right, so when you hang the F and J, you'll wanna cut that guy uh, flush with the end of the truss here. Uh, the way we do our lookouts is with, uh, well, I guess we call this the lookout, but that's how we build our fascia is we put this board onto the top of the truss and then we hang our fascia from it. And then just at the four corners, I put in uh, this scarfed two by, or two by four so that I have something to stick all my trims to. Uh, so what is gonna happen is the piece that I just made up on the brake is going to cap off the start of the soffit that goes that way and then is going to act as a transition from the soffit that comes down the rake to that. Um, and then everything is going to die and transition behind the corner. So the corner on the building is gonna come all the way up and it's gonna butt into this soffit for a really clean look. Uh, this building has a black wainscot, a gray wall, but it's gonna have all white trims. So that's why we have our white soffit and fascia, our white corners, uh, white doors, so on and so forth. So uh, what we will do is I'm gonna take this piece and we're gonna make a handful of notches in it. So 
Uh, the first one is going to be uh, about an inch or so on that side that can slide into that fascia. And then we'll have to cut this bottom leg uh, to fit around the girt here and above, if you can see, kind of fingers into the F and J channel there. Uh, and then it's also going to sit behind this uh, F and J up here so that I have a spot. Um, sorry, I'm kind of working goofy here. That way I have a spot where I can put a couple nails here uh, and then a couple nails up on the lookout uh, above the soffit so that we don't have any fasteners in this. And then I'm really hoping that that little scuff mark there is going to end up behind the corner, which is going to be really close. Uh, otherwise, touch up paint is my friend. Here we go. All right, so we cut an uh, inch and a quarter out of the face of that, left the bottom leg to kind of slide out into the fascia. And then we did the exact opposite on this side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, I've got sunglasses on, I'm in the shadow, all kinds of stuff. So then the exact opposite. So we cut uh, whatever was left, so about an inch um, off of the bottom leg and then left the top leg. So now the fun part, we have to get it slid up in there. So. Uh, usually I start by getting this side into the fascia and then I kind of bend this guy under the F and J and slide it up. And then at the last minute, uh, tuck the bottom of the giant piece of fascia into the F and J here. Uh, we always start our soffit or finish our soffit with um, a half inch bend up and that keeps this solid to our framing member. That way the wind can't rattle it around and stuff. Um, so it's, it's just a little tight right here, but we'll make it work. You see, we have the, um, panel fastened off. So I got a couple nails there, a couple nails going up the top, uh, and some in here behind where the corner will come up. So now I'm going to take, uh, some scrap, just regular half inch J channel, and we'll cut that to fit from here down to there. And then we can tuck our soffit piece in and we'll work the soffit up. And we'll have a really nice, clean transition from our rake soffit to our flat soffit. All right, a little J-channel. So if you cut uh, the back side, if you cut like two cuts next to each other, maybe like a quarter inch apart, and then a little cut down to the face, you can do a nifty little bend like that to tuck into the fascia on that side um, without having a seam there. And then on this one, what I usually do is I snip back the top and bottom legs because there's technically no nailing out here. That's the end of the truss. And then I leave a piece long behind it. And then if you put a trim nail through here, uh, it'll grab this piece and it won't let that piece go anywhere and kind of pins everything together. And that is good enough to hold a chunk of soffit. It looks like, unfortunately, I am going to have to run some touch-up paint on this one. But luckily, the only people who are going to see it are the children of the corn. That was kind of a corny joke. Uh, moving on, uh, let's get this side softened out and see how it finishes up. Well, there we have it. So... This run of soffit is ready to go. Our F and J is hung. I've got uh, like a double J up at the top for where the peak finishes out. And we'll run this one up to that and get some fascia and some rake trim on it. And it'll be ready to rock and roll. So um, that's how I finish out the ends there. Works out pretty good, I think. And I'll make sure I detail that out. I'll show you guys again when we talk about corners. So we'll have, you know, a step to cut and then up. We'll fold it and hem it and make it all look really nice and pretty. And then we'll get it all anchored off so that it's stout and the steel will transition, you know, so the, the bigger three-quarter J channel will work its way right down the corner. And then we just go to this really nice clean look on the transition and I don't think there's anything to complain about so uh, it's kind of a goofy building because we've got three colors but I think that after the corner is on it'll make for a really nice break and life will be good so moving on that's all I got for this one um, just figured I should probably try to post something um, just kind of overwhelmed with how much I got going on. Um, Want to get this barn finished up, but we've run into a couple material delays. Now my trusses actually showed up like 
a month early and I don't have the house framed yet. So uh, kind of in rush mode, just wanna get the barn out here uh, at least shelled. I'm not worried about the interior of that yet. Um, we'll get to that after the house is shelled and the subs are working their way through the inside. So I'm um, gonna get back into hustle mode and try and get this barn shelled out and then we'll bounce over there, work on the house for a little bit and life will be good. Hopefully more videos come soon. Until next time, signing off.